Hey, welcome everybody uh, in person and on the live stream across the world. Um, it's so great to see all of you here this evening. Thank you for coming to support our Mata Junior composers and mentors this evening. Uh, Mata Junior is a very special program to us. We started it in 2014 to support uh, pre-college composers and their composition process. They get to work with some of the top performers in new music and amazing mentors. And this year, our two mentors are Ali Jean Pusculju and Gabrielle Herbst. And so we're so glad to actually have a lot of the composers and our mentors here uh, in person tonight. So it's a really wonderful, remarkable time for Mata as this is actually our first in-person event since 2020. And I'd just like to thank the Skull Street Studio for supporting us this evening and all of our production endeavors that is the hybrid concert. Um, I'd also like to thank the Mata staff and our tech support team this evening for making this happen. And thank you to ASCAP and the New York State Council for the Arts for supporting this program. And thank you all of you listeners here and across the globe for tuning in. This is going to be a very, very special concert. So without further ado, uh, oh, I didn't introduce, my, introduce myself, actually. I'm Amanda Gukin, and I'm the executive director of MATA. I just joined a few months ago, so it's, it's soaking in. I think this is the first time I've made that <laughs> announcement uh, in, in public to people. So it's a joy to be here, and it's my pleasure to introduce the Bergamot Quartet. Margin Sanko from Turkey. I'm 16 and I'm a junior at Pekin University Music Capital High School. I currently study the viola with Javid Jafer and the composition with Yid Aydan. I got the chance to participate in Mata Junior with the support of Jambir and the opportunity Arjun to Sanko write a piece for Bergamot Quartet. I'm 16 and I'm the a name of this work is Ives because it means enthusiasm in Turkish. While playing the viola in my daily life, I like to play improvisation. I got the chance to participate. So the piece contains the themes of that I found with playing and the organization and, and, and I distributed them to all instruments. The name of there are so many different atmospheres that I wanted to create. You will hear unnatural harmonies in some parts of the piece. This takes the music even to more mysterious and complex. In some parts, you will hear energetic and brisk places. So don't forget to prepare your ears for the excitement in advance. Thank you. Good concerts.
Hi, I'm Alicia. Um, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm 17. Um, further in my career, I'd want to like, like combine research and music. So like I would um, conduct research and have that guide my composition and the ending piece would be like a thesis statement. I, I want to do that a lot, <laughs> like a lot of times throughout my career, because that sounds fun. Um, and that's what I did for this. Uh, so this is about like sea slugs, uh, so the idea is that like there are different sections that represent like different, um, like, which we call it, like different functions or activities that different slugs would have throughout their day, like, like a documentary for your ears, you know, learning. Um, <laughs> there are also some improv bits in there where like I have one part doing improv and the rest are fully written out, just cause I thought it would be cool if this sounded different every time it was performed. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
My name is Sointu, I'm 16 and I live in Amiskwachi, West Cahigan in Canada. I'm very excited for the premiere of my new composition, Superficial, for String Quartet, Electronics and Audience. Thematically and emotionally, this piece is born out of frustration at superficiality, also as a cultural phenomenon, but primarily politically. I'm frustrated at the Canadian government's superficial attempts at reconciliation. I'm frustrated at world leaders' superficial attempts at climate action. I'm frustrated at the superficiality of settler colonialist national identity in Canada. I'm frustrated at the superficiality of stereotypes. I'm frustrated at superficiality. In the music, this idea is communicated using quotations, using extended techniques, using colors and timbres that I have a strong emotional connection to. And in the composition, I'm really exploring these ideas of superficiality and authenticity in a personal, emotional, social and political way. And I invite you as the audience to also consider these ideas. What is superficial in your life context, your social context, your political context? What is superficial? What is authentic? What is beautiful? What is wrong in your context? And I want you to actually answer, not just think about it in your own head, which is why the piece is interactive. It is audience interactive. So as you think about these things, you will also become part of the music. And the performance will give you more instruction on that. Thank you. Hi everyone, so as Sointu said, this piece is audience interactive. Um, you were just given a QR code um, along with a painting that goes along with the piece. Um, if you scan this code, as many of you I, I see are already doing, um, that'll go to a jam board where you can anonymously answer the questions that she poses in this piece, which are what is superficial in your life and what is authentic in your life. Um, there will be a moment in the middle of this piece where I will read your responses. Um, again, they're anonymous. Um, you'll have the first couple minutes of the piece to respond. Um, and at a point where the texture kind of thins out, you'll, you'll know it's coming, I think. Um, that, that's your window of time to respond to the piece. Um, I, think, I think that's everyone. Does, any, any, does anyone have any questions about that? <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Okay. Well, um, enjoy responding. And this is superficial by Swing to Alto.
anger, family, old friends, Instagram, kindness, nothing, I am genuine. The love that I have for my family and friends, the music and the arts. Friends, gaze. Humans need for love. job, people, performative anger, music, the media, Instagram, people,
Hi, my name is João. I'm 17. I'm from Lisbon, Portugal, and I'm currently on my last year of high school studying science and technology. During this summer, I had the privilege to write a piece for the Bergamot Quartet. Uh, the piece is called Inferno. It's inspired by the book with the same name, written by Dante. And in this book, there are some very horrific, some very grotesque uh, representations of hell. And that's something that I take in consideration and try to, to represent in, in my piece. Uh, the piece has some very clear references to other works, works that are very in important to me, works that I had to study, had to analyze in order to be able to, to write my piece. Um, writing this piece has been very challenging because of the immense history behind the string quartets and all the wonderful pieces that are in this ensemble's repertoire. I hope you like the piece as much as I write, uh, as I liked writing it. Hope you enjoy it.
Hello, my name is Gabrielle Herbst. I am a composer and a singer, um, originally from the Berkshires, Massachusetts, which is where I am right now. My piece is titled Sunsets in My Mind, and it's about flashing colors of light existing in the mind, both literally and metaphorically. And it's also about feeling longing, dreamy head spaces, something that I think a lot of us have experienced this year. Thanks so much to the Bergamot Quartet for performing this piece, and thank you to Mata. Um, I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Alijan Puskolju and I'm a composer and violinist currently based in the Boston area. A little bit about me, I started playing the violin when I was six years old and soon after my love of composition and new music began. In my music, I tend to express my ideas through various kinds of gestures and characters. My piece for the Mata Junior is titled Junior. This string quartet has four distinct sections, dances, shreds, chords, and canon. I like to thank Amanda, Calvin, Gabi, and all the mentees, and of course the great Bergamot String Quartet for their hard work. I hope you enjoyed the piece and the concert, and thank you so much for listening. Thank you.
I'm Hanley. Uh, I live here in New York City. Um, I just wanted to portray this image of largeness throughout. So even when the texture kind of empties out and there's not much um, real sound as in, as in volume, um, I still wanted the impression to be of something rather vast. Um, and that's the infinity I represent here. Um, so I hope you enjoy. And thank you so much to Mata Jr.
Hello, I'm Marco Jimenez, I'm 18 years old, and I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. I currently reside in New York as a college freshman, where I'm studying philosophy at Columbia and composition and organ at Juilliard. First, I just want to say how grateful I am to you for being here, to Mata Jr. for this wonderful opportunity, and to the Bergamot Quartet for both learning and premiering my music. Thank you so much. A bit about the piece. It's titled String Quartets No. 1 and subtitled A Network of Lines That Intersect. This subtitle is a reference to Italo Calvino's wonderful novel If on a Winter's Night a Traveler, which is a novel that expertly combines and seamlessly weaves together various disparate genres into a cohesive whole. And it's I hope to accomplish the exact same thing in my own composition. Furthermore, the title A Network of lines that intersect is also a reference to the incessant counterpoint that permeates the entire piece. I'm a great lover of counterpoint and a great lover of Bach. So thank you all so much, and I hope you enjoy the piece. Thank you. Thank you. 